Every year, the elves work overtime, but when they can't keep up, they call on toy maker Bob Whitmore. Now let's spend some time in Bob Whitmore's toy shop. Well, hi, hi, kiddos, come on. Come on over here and come on, sit down, have a pew, stand up high. It is just a pleasure to see you all again here in the old toy shop building. Now, you know, I was talking to the wife this morning before we went out and cleaned the satellite day so the signal would be all right. And, and one of the things that occurred to me is how beautiful the music is during the holiday season. And, you know, if you're lucky, if you have, uh, if you're, if you, if you're inclined to go to church and there's one of those big, cut, 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 cathedral buildings they have one of those big pipe organs well I thought it might be nice to try to build a pipe organ I started out this morning before we went on the air and uh, I've got it it just doesn't sound right though so I'll tell you what today the topic of construction is pipe organ and I'll meet you in the workshop Electric tools such as saws and drills are for big folks, moms and dads, and master toy makers like Bob Whitmore. Remember, play it safe and let adults handle all big tools. Well, hi there, kiddos. Today we're going to go over to the special room where we make electronic appliances, and we're going to show you how to make a pipe organ. Now, as you can tell, I have most of this finished already. The problem is, whenever I try to play it, like that, it, does, it sounds more like a piano. So, uh, apparently someplace I... Let me... Uh, first of all, let me try... I like to play a little something, show you my expertise if I can. And then I've got to figure out why it doesn't sound like a pipe organ. I could just get it to sound more like a pipe organ. Uh, maybe, i tell you what, I bet Lou Philpot has the instructions on that. Uh, 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 let's call him up. I'm in such a good mood today, I just can't wait to talk to Lou. So I'll tell you what, I'll go back to the workshop here, and uh, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll meet, you, meet you upside. Look at, uh, let's get Lou Philpot on the phone here. Uh, uh, toy parts. Hello, Lou? Uh, yeah. Lou, you sound a little bummed out. This is oh. Bob Whitmore over here at the uh, toy building. Yeah. You don't sound I, like I, your jovial, regular, clownsy uh, self. No, uh, I just, it's just, yeah, uh, I'm just not up to snuff. Well, uh, you, can, you can talk to me. No one's listening. No, that's all right, Did Bob, you lose, did Bobby walk out on you or Fred or one of your helpers no, there? No, everything here works fine. You get a, a back bill from the Atlas uh, truck people? <laughs> no, there. You didn't have all. a fire? Is the roof leaking? Is the taxes due? Something wrong? No, it's just kind of close to the on. holidays, and I'm just dying. Oh, you got the holiday blues. Yeah, and almost the holiday blue-greens. Well, now, now, Lou, listen, you're, you're responsible. Responsible, responsible for providing the raw materials from which toy makers and such as myself and the elves have made tens of toys and have gone out to little girls and boys around the world. If it wasn't for you, well, there wouldn't be any toys. Now cheer up. Yeah, that's, I, maybe that's part of the problem, Bob. What, what do you mean, part of the problem? Well, oh, well, I, I can get... tell your old uncle Bob. Well, I, oh. I guess I can. Well, I've never gotten a Christmas present. You, oh, Lou, now, 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 you a man of your ilk? What you've not been? What are you? I can't. Uh, are you pulling one of my legs? No, no, Bob, I'm not. I just, it, it, I just Look, never got one. Would you like something this Christmas? Well, everybody would like something for Christmas. Look, I mean, listen, just you, put. Just, I can't. I, I tell you what, I'll cook up a surprise. But I, 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 I've got to go now. But for heaven's sake, cheer up and okay, have a you, happy. You, you have a happy holiday, have, Bob. Thanks, Lou. Okay. Oh, would you looky here? I've been stacking the mail up. I've got, I bet I've got a dozen requests for the same thing. How, I didn't know this was as popular. Let me pick the top one here. Tom Gug, Gugnauer? Googler? 
Tommy, Tommy, if you're listening, you know who you are. You probably, nobody can say your name right. Tommy Googler wants a choo-choo train. And uh, let me grab the phone here, and, and let's, let's get the post office on the line. South North Post Office. Oh, hi, Danny. Yes, it is. Hi, this is Bob Whitmore down here at that toy building. Oh, hi, Bob. Say, I uh, want to check in with you again today for some letters there that you might have. I've been getting some letters here. Yeah, by the way, I, um, have you, did you just read a letter from Tom Googler? Yeah, they wanted a choo-choo train? Yeah, I just heard on the radio. You listen? Yeah. Well, that ought to make the management happy. I, I, you know what our ratings are here. They're, I've been told they're point oh. Point what are, oh what? <laughs> that's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> listen, could you uh, could you give us some uh, some more of those sandy letters? Sure. Hold on. Okay. Thanks. Uh, well, let's see here. Herman Rubbish of Stanton, Virginia, says he wants a full set of cosmetics, colognes, and toothbrushes. Charlene Clemens wants her own copy of Mister Rogers' trolley. And Tilly Duffy of Dead Ringer, Nevada, wants a video camera, three tripods, two monitors, and some lights. She says she wants to go into the video production business. That's all I've got for now. Ooh, nice. Smartly done. Nicely done. Good command of the English language. I just love it. Well, let's, uh, let's give old Santa Claus a call. Hello? Yes. Yes, I was going. Uh, this is Santa's switchboard. Yes. Uh, I'm Miss Annette. I'm just seasonal help. Well, there seems to be a lot of that going around. Say, I expect... Oh, that... but if you take out lemon water, it'll get rid of it. Oh, well, Miss Inez, do you know the number of Santa's office? It's in the, it's in oh, the new yeah, directory. Oh, yeah, look right here. Give me, a, give me a minute here. There, oops, I dropped my lunch money. There we go. Okay. Hold on. Hold <laughs> on. I am... <laughs> Well, there we go. Gonna get get old Santa here. Can I help you? Oh, I guess good help's hard to find. Well, uh, goodbye, kiddos. This is the Shrevikman Radio Network, your network for the 1988 Winter Olympics.